playing Genshin Impact for the past 4 years felt like being in a relationship with a lazy person. You want them to get better. You know they can be better, yet they refuse to be. Gameplay, story and most importantly, the community has been some of the worst things I have had the displeasure of experiencing. But why exactly do I feel this way? At this point we all know about the infamous too much anxiety article that was released about two years ago. That was the point where we all collectively knew how we would never get any endgame content worth farming for. To this day I can clear absolutely everything with a character that released in 1.3 with a build made during 1.3. The only difference is that I now have to fight the enemy for 10 seconds instead of the usual 2. Many other games would kill to have Genshin's enemy diversity, yet here it does not matter since I can kill them before they can do anything interesting. So many mechanics, so many animations, gone to waste. Mihoyo tried to fix the problem by just increasing the health of abyss enemies to high heavens resulting in a challenge only whales could finish. No skill, no clever usage of characters, just a damage check for your C6 characters. The amazing fighting system is wasted on a game such as this. But at the end of the day, people did not want the game to improve gameplay wise. Genshin is a story game. We only play for the story. It's your problem you expected anything else. Yeah, the amazing story. Who did Mihoyo fire or hire to go from one of the most incredible narrative experiences in games to this? I will say Fontaine was good, but it took them 4 years to create something bearable. Mondstadt was probably the only one that was consistently entertaining even though it was simplistic. Everything is so bloated or filled with unnecessary fragments. Who can forget important scenes such as Zhongli speaking about flowers for 10 to 20 minutes or the tragic tale of Tepe, the soldier who was with us for about 5 minutes yet the traveler was ready to kill Skaramush once he died. How about Kokomi, the master strategist who made a total of zero strategies or the tyrannical Raiden Shogun, who pretty much let her country be in ruin for centuries. But we forgave her, since she was so alone and so sad about her sister, my poor little tyrant. Also, how Inazuma was supposedly in a civil war that could change the fate of the entire country depending on who wins. This gruesome war is fought throughout the whole of Inazuma, or so we are told. By the whole country they probably meant 5 or so soldiers and a couple of bodies on the ground. Characters being underutilized or just showing up once just to remind you that they will be on a banner soon. If an NPC has more screen time than your playable character, you clearly messed up. You would expect that the character quests would fix this problem, but they really do not. 95% of them are either you go on a date with the character or you just follow them around during their work. Yeah, let's go on a date with Raiden Shogun, the woman that purposely let her country go to waste. That seems like a good idea. Inazuma was the one Mihoyo just really messed up on, but every other country, with maybe the only exception being Fontaine, had similar problems. At least Venti and Zhongli have quests that actually give some interesting exposition to the world of Teyvat. But the worst aspect of this game's storytelling is how they just delete parts of their war because they walk it behind events. Do you like Fisho? Mona? Kazuha? Klee? Well too bad dumbass, better have played during the summer event. If you didn't play during 1.2 or 2.2, Dragon Spine is just some mountain next to Mondstadt. Albedo is still the best character in the game for me, yet for 90% of the player base he does not exist. Same with Yua, Shenha and some others. Some of their best stories are pretty much erased from this game just because you didn't play the two week long event at a specific time. And even then the community sees no problem with this. You all preach how the story is the best part of the game, yet will turn a blind eye to the glaring problems it has had throughout the years. I shouldn't be surprised though, the Genshin community isn't the brightest.
ありがとうジャイロン What I'm about to say may contradict God's teachings, but it must be said. Have you heard about the tale of Lord Tectone the Wise? Tectone was the only guy that consistently tried making the game better, tried giving suggestions that could push Genshin to bigger heights, yet the community all spat on him and drove him out. They removed the only person that truly cared for the game's future. Hearing someone have a negative opinion on their precious little game and their pixelated girlfriends was too much for them. That's why every content creator I have seen recently walks on glass when talking about Genshin. Um, well, you see, they uh, is not really good, but, 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 but you know, there is no reason not to pull for her, <laughs> if you like her, that is, you know. But what Teoster is supposed to do when on the other side of the screen Zhongli's cum dump 24 is crying that you said anything about their pixelated wife or husband. How dare you say such mean things about Sino? He's my husband. Do you know how much your words have hurt him? You might think he is ass, but I love him. I love him. Then on the other side you have the shippers and oh my god the double standards I have witnessed. If someone says that they think Yeon has a fat ass, they would immediately be labeled as a misogynist. 10 seconds later, Xiao Sword 58 is going on Twitter to watch Zhao Xvent images. If anyone draws an image of Ether with someone else, that's the biggest problem there is. Yet, the things I have witnessed artists do with Furina and Arlecchino. I usually do not care about artwork, but some of you need to be walked up. A community full of complacent consumers, willing to witch hunt anyone that might burst their perfect bubble. And do not think Mihoyo isn't aware of that. Why do you think we only got 20 pulls for the anniversary? A fourth anniversary. Something so many other gacha games pray they would reach. They see how they will constantly have people suck them off for the smallest of rewards. It's because Mihoyo knows that the community will take their 20 pulls and get back to being the good little puppies they are. Should have let the salt of the earth cook back then. It's too late now. That's really about it. See ya.